use the Lulu Cover Creator, you must first log into your account and start a project. Upload your interior file and choose your book specifications. In the Design Your Cover section, select Create Your Cover, then click the Design Your Cover button. Before we begin designing a book cover, let's review the features available in Lulu's Cover Creator. The default screen features a button to return to your project, important details about your book, undo and redo buttons, and a background color selector for your cover. You can change the background color by choosing a default color or by choosing a custom color using the color picker, hex, or RGB codes. The bottom toolbar includes preview, shortcuts, guides, zoom, and a resource center. Click guides to view margins, bleed, folds, and trim areas to ensure your important information can be seen. Click shortcuts to open a list of keyboard commands that can make designing your cover quicker and easier. Use the zoom percentage to view your cover at whatever size you choose. Click preview to view your cover without any guides or tools showing. The side toolbar features tools to help build your cover, including templates, images, text, shapes, and a barcode generator. In the templates panel, you can choose a base template or a blank canvas to start your cover from scratch. In the images panel, you can upload image files to use on your cover. Once uploaded, drag and drop the image onto the canvas. When your image is selected, you can add a stroke or adjust the position and opacity of the image. In the position dropdown, you can move the image layer, lock and unlock your image, and align your image to either the back cover, spine, or front cover. In the opacity dropdown, you can use the slider to adjust the image opacity. In the text panel, click or drag the text box to add it to the canvas. When your text is selected, you'll be able to change the font, size, and color of the text. In the options dropdown, you can choose a character style, paragraph alignment, and adjust the character spacing and line height. In the position dropdown, you can move the text layer, lock and unlock your text, and align your text to either the back cover, spine, or front cover. In the shapes panel, click or drag a shape to add it to the canvas. When your shape is selected, you can choose a fill color, stroke color, and stroke weight. The same position and opacity drop-down menus are also available here. In the barcode panel, enter the required information to add your ISBN and barcode onto the back cover. Now that we've reviewed the features, let's create a book cover. In this example, I want to create a custom book cover, so I will start with a blank canvas instead of a provided template. I want to use a photo for my cover, so I'll click the images panel and upload the image file to my library. I'll drag the image onto my canvas and adjust it however I want. If I wanted to rotate the image, I could do so with the adjustment point at the top. I could also align my image to certain points of the canvas by dragging it until it snaps to the points, or by using the align tool in the position dropdown. In this case, I want to scale up my image so it's full bleed, so I'll hold shift and drag one of the corner points until it fills the entire canvas. To adjust the crop or mask out part of the image, I'll double click on the image and then adjust the size. To finish cropping, just click anywhere on the canvas outside of the image. Now that my image is in place, I'll lock it so I don't accidentally move it while I edit other elements. I can come back here to unlock it whenever I want. 
Next, I'll add the title of my book. I'll click the text panel and drag a text box onto my front cover. I'll type the first word of my title into the text box, then select the font dropdown and choose Tico. I want my title to take up a lot of space on the cover, so I'll make the font size 200. I want the font color to be white, so I'll select that from the default colors. My title is three words, and I want each word on a separate line, so I'm going to duplicate this styled text box by pressing Command D, which is a command I can find in the shortcuts panel. Now I have three text boxes, and I'll drag all of them to snap to the center of the front cover. Then. I'll shift drag them vertically to align the first one to the top margin, the second to the middle, and the third to the bottom margin. Now I'll add my author's name the same way by duplicating the text box and adjusting the styling. Next, I want to add white boxes behind the author's name, so I'll click on the shapes panel and drag a square onto my canvas. Now I'll make the color of it white and send the shape box behind the text box by selecting backward in the position panel. Then I'll use the points on the square to move and shape it into the rectangle that I want. I'll duplicate that using command D to create another box behind the author's last name. Now I'll make my spine text. I'll copy my text box, readjust my text styling, and rotate the text box sideways. I'll align the text box to the spine and duplicate it one more time to add the author's name to the spine. Next, I'll add my publisher's icon to the spine the same way I added the background image earlier. For the back cover, I'll add a book description by using the text tool. I'll also add an author picture from the images panel and add my barcode using the barcode panel. Once I'm happy with my cover, I'll click generate my cover to return to the design step of my project and finish creating my book.